Modern shellac. Right. Uh, modern shellac nail varnishes are more durable and so last longer than traditional nail polish. The nail varnish is applied in thin layers to the nails and then the plate fingers are placed under a UV lamp. Skincare Foundation has recommended that a sunblock is applied to the fingers and hand before using the lamp. Suggest why it makes this recommendation. Okay, I have literally just pulled this from the mark scheme because it's a very nice list. I can't think of anything else. All I'd written down when I was working it was prevents UV damage to skin. Um, and they've got all of these ones. So we've got damaging harmful, sunburn, breaks bonds, molecules inside the skin, damages collagen, causes can cause skin cancer, ages the skin, photoaging, free radicals, and sunblock contains things that are free radical scavengers. So any of those would be good. Okay, free radical chain reaction takes place in the varnish hardens. State what's meant by the term free radical. So straight definition here. You're looking at a species with unpaired electron or electrons. Okay. Um, and you could or you could say atoms or molecules. Species is a generic one to cover all of that, so that's a nice one to use. Okay, shellac nail varnish contains a mixture of ingredients that take part in the free radical chain reaction. One of the steps in the free radical chain reaction is this. State the term used to describe this type of re type of step. Okay, so you have three steps in free radical stuff. Okay, we have initiation, propagation, and we have termination. In initiation, we have to go from having no free radicals at all to having some. <laughs> and in propagation, we have to have some and keep some. And in termination, we have to have some and have none. Okay, so we didn't have any over here and we now have two. So this is initiation. During the free radical reaction, small molecules join to form large chain molecules. One example of a small molecule um, is this one here. Name the functional group. That is the carboxyl group. Okay. Um, alcohol wipes are used to finish the varnishing treatment. Alcohol wipes contain the alcohol propan 2 all. State why propan 2 all can be described as a secondary alcohol. So again, this is a definition, but we're going to kind of be precise about it. So a primary alcohol is where the carbon with the hydroxide is attached to just one other carbon um, or even just a hydrogen, okay? Um, if it's a secondary alcohol, then the carbon which is attached to the carboxyl, sorry, to the hydroxyl, um, is attached to two carbons and a tertiary is attached that has the carbon that has the, hyd the hydroxyl has three carbons attached. Okay, so secondary is this, that the carbon which is attached to the hydroxyl is attached to another two carbons. That's it. Okay, traditional nail varnishes use ethyl ethanoate and butyl ethanoate as solvents. Draw the structural formula for butyl ethanoate. Just give myself a bit of space. Okay, so butyl ethanoate means that I've got a chain of four attached to an ester link which came from a carboxylic acid of two. Okay, so I'm going to draw it that way around. So here's my carboxylic acid of two, my ethanoate, C double bondo, bondo, bond onto my C, and then I'm going to make my butyl one, two, three, four, fill in all my hydrogens, and in the exam I would make sure I'd actually written all of these in. So I suppose let's just pop these all in here. Okay, and that's it. Doesn't matter if you've which way round you've drawn this in terms of orientation but you have to have the four and the two in the right place to the ester, okay. Uh, ethyl ethanoate can be made in the lab using the following apparatus. It's your kind of low cost version of these. We've got our mixture of reactants with conch sulfuric acid, a water bath, an elastic band holding a paper towel soaked in cold water at the top of the test tube, okay. Suggest why a wet paper towel is wrapped around the top of the test tube. It, this is acting as a condenser. Okay, so it means that any of these reactants in here, and they're quite small because that's ethanol and ethanoic acid, if they're in a water bath which is keeping them at a reasonably high temperature, you're going to get a fair amount of evaporation. And so this condenser will cool these reactants as they get up to the top and just push them straight back down into the reaction mix so they can continue to react. 
Okay. Um, part three. A student uses 2.5 grams of ethanol, slight excess of ethanoic, to produce 2.9 grams of ethyl ethanoate. Uh, we have the equation for that and masses of each. Uh, we've got a one to one. It's telling you um, which, if you sat and drew it out, you could see. But just because they haven't given you it as a formula, they're they're just making sure you're clear. It's a one to one. Calculate the percentage yield of ethyl ethanoate. Okay, so I am looking to work out my actual yield, so I can divide it by or divide the theoretical. Sorry, divide the actual by the theoretical. So I've got my actual at 2.9 grams. I am now going to totally ignore that until I've worked out my theoretical. Okay, so my theoretical goes that ethanol to ethyl ethanoate, which is a one to one, means I should get 46 grams of ethanol converting into 88 grams of ethyl ethanoate, everything being perfect. Okay, I use 2.5, so 2.5 divided by 46 times by 88 means I should have got everything being perfect, 4.78 grams, okay? But my percentage yield is my actual divided by theoretical times by 100. So my actual was my 2.9. 2.9 divided by 4.78 times by 100 gives me 60.7 or 61%. Okay? So you're getting one mark for getting to your theoretical yield and then you're getting one mark for running the rest of the calculation. Right, name the type of reaction that takes place during the formation of ethyl ethanoate. Well, I'm making an ester, so I'm doing esterification. Or if I'm looking for the, the larger term, very happy with condensation. Where I'm taking two smaller molecules and joining them together with removal of a smaller one to make a larger one. So I'm taking out water to make the ester. Okay.